Has anyone ever given you the interview advice to just be more confident in your next interview? How did you respond to them? Did you say, oh, thank you, that's absolutely no help because how in the world do I do that? That would have been an appropriate response. But in today's video, I'm going to teach you not how to be more confident, but how to appear more confident in your interviews. So in your next interview, you could appear more cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, that's gonna be you. Let's go. Hi everybody, I'm Ben White with Ben Talks Talent. I've got 12 years experience in interviewing, hiring, and recruiting. And I'm passionate about using my experience to help you become the best candidate possible and land your next job. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about confidence, or at least how to appear more confident in your next interview. But before we get into the subject, do me a quick favor. If you are new here, take three seconds, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss one of my free videos that are all designed to help you. And if you are not new, welcome back. Let's get into the video. Now the first thing you need to do to appear confident going into your next interview is nail the entrance. So that starts the moment you pull up. So you pull up, you park your car, park your car, however you park your car, you turn it off, take a deep breath in, breathe in, out, do that a couple times and get out with confidence and then walk with purpose into the place, smiling, being friendly. If you see somebody as you're walking in, smile at them, walk straight into the building, cool, calm, collected, confident, smiling, friendly, okay? That should be your mindset as you walk into the building. Now, when you get in there, smile at the receptionist, be friendly. Hi, how are you? I'm here for an interview. Make sure you look them eye to eye, you smile, and you, you will just appear more confident. In addition to that, when you go and sit down and you're waiting, right? So they, they check you in, they give you a little badge or a sticker, it's cute, adorable. Um, they tell you to sit down and wait for your interview. So you go there, and don't sit there and do any of this. Um, sit there with your legs crossed at the ankles, straight up, no fidgeting, um, taking a couple deep breaths, sit up straight, smiling, and be confident. Don't fidget with your hands, don't bounce your legs, keep your legs crossed at the ankle and wait for someone to get you. You do not wanna to appear to be nervous as you walk in or in the lobby. Step one. Now you're gonna meet a lot of people in your interview. So the second thing that you need to do is have a nice firm handshake and you need to establish eye contact. So looking people in the eye can be a little bit uncomfortable, but you wanna do it because it shows that you're confident. People, imagine I meet you and you're like, hi Ben, and I'm like, Hi, how are you? That would not give you the impression I am confident. So when you meet people, nice firm handshake and look them in the eye. Now, important note here, it's about balance. A firm handshake does not mean you should aim to crush their hand and snap their knuckles and bones and sinew and just like crush it. That is not what we're going here. You know, it's strong, it's firm, it's not limp, it's just a firm handshake, but you're also not trying to hurt them. And then for the eye thing, you wanna look them in the eye, smile, be confident like that, but you're also not trying to stare into the depths of their soul. There's a difference between this, hi, very nice to meet you, and this, hi, it is very nice to meet you. I bet those felt different. I can't see myself because I was looking to the camera, but I am sure they felt different. You get it. Now in the interview, you need to monitor your posture, right? It can't be, um, you know, it can't be straightforward like this, leaning over. You don't wanna do that. You also wanna lean back. I always tell people that in the interview, here's what you wanna be doing. You don't wanna slouch, because slouching signifies two things. Disinterest, right, you're not interested in the role, or you're not confident. You don't wanna be like this when you're interviewing. You really don't. So, again, simple stuff here, but the little things in terms of confidence and appearance of confidence makes all the difference. Now I wanna talk about your hands. Your hands are actually really important. Your hands signify a lot of things when you're interviewing. So here's what you don't want to do. Keep your hands away from your face. You don't wanna be doing any of this in the interview, trust me. So keep your hands away from your face. Even this, even this, I mean I do that from time to time, but you don't wanna be doing it in an interview. So one, keep your hands away from your face. What you wanna do is keep them in your lap. You can't see my lap, but just imagine that my hands are in my lap here. But keep your hands in your lap unless you are using them to emphasize a point. So you can go like this and you can emphasize a point, but when you're using your hands to emphasize a point, don't be like this. Don't emphasize points like this. That's not how you do it. You emphasize points like this to show things like, yeah, one of the things that was really important to me in managing people is to have open communication. So you can see the difference between this and this and this, right? This, using it to gesture sparingly or having them in your lap. That is what you need to do with your hands and don't have them in your lap like this. Don't be like picking on your fingers. Have them 
like this, just on your lap. Up straight, hands on your lap, no fidgeting, no touching your hands, using them for emphasis when it makes sense. The next thing I want you to do is use the mirror technique. So the key here is not to be obvious, but their body language, the way they speak in terms of how loud or how quick, the tempo, the cadences, all those things. What you wanna be doing is trying to mirror that because you want them to be comfortable with you. When they're comfortable with you, you will end up being more comfortable with them. So if they're really loud and talking and outgoing, feel free to match that. But if they're really soft-spoken, like, well, you know, one of the things that I think is really important is that we connect and communicate. You need to take it down to their level as well. You need to match their energy, both physically and from a voice perspective. Again, if they have a British accent, don't have a British accent, like don't do that. But in terms of the pace, in terms of the volume, in terms of the cadence, and in terms of the body language, Try to mirror them. If you do that, they won't find your behaviors, your voice, your body language off-putting because it's theirs. The last thing I wanna hammer home is smile and eye contact. You wanna do this throughout the entirety of it. Walking into the building, sitting in the building, meeting the receptionist, meeting the person who's gonna be interviewing you, following them to a conference room where you'll be interviewed, and then on the way out, you wanna be smiling, be friendly, and then look people in the eye. Again, don't look into their soul um, creepily, but definitely look at them eye to eye. You wanna make sure you're doing that and make sure you are smiling. You wanna be friendly. People who are friendly are not perceived to be insecure. They're seen as friendly and engaging, which is like the opposite of you being nervous. So there you have it. Those are the things I would recommend. These are small changes, but I am telling you, the small changes mean the world when it comes to how you are perceived in the interview process. Good luck in your next interview. You got this.